Lucy Ozerin was born on August 8, 1914, and died on September 17, 2017. She was a psychiatrist who served in the United States Navy. She was one of the first women psychiatrists commissioned in the Navy, and she was one of seven women Navy psychiatrists who served during World War II. Lucy Dorothy Ozerin was born in Brooklyn. New York, on August 8, 1914, the youngest of four children, when she was seven years old, her family moved to Long Island, New York. She graduated from Lawrence High School. After graduating from New York University, Ozerin enrolled in New York Medical College's campus in New York City. Ozerin was one of six women enrolled in a class of 100. She earned a Doctor of Medicine in 1937. Ozerin worked as a resident at Harlem Hospital in Pediatrics for two years. During five months of that time, Ozerin worked on an ambulance, which she found exciting. Given the choice between treating patients with tuberculosis or mental illness, Ozerin chose the latter because it was not a communicable disease. Ozerin then worked as a resident at Westchester County Hospital's small psychiatric unit. Seven months into the position, her father suffered a stroke, and she decided to move near Buffalo, New York, where he was living at the time. Ozerin worked at the Gowanda State Hospital for three years. When the United States entered World War II, the hospital's male psychiatrists left and Ozerin found herself the only physician for a thousand patients, most of whom had schizophrenia. 3. Ozerin felt it was impossible to perform her job well when she was spread so thin. Legislation established women accepted for volunteer emergency service as a branch of the United States Naval Reserve in 1942, inspired in part by her brother's decision to join the military as an engineer in 1942. Ozerin decided she join as well. The hospital's superintendent would not approve Ozerin's request for leave, so Ozerin resigned her position instead. Ozerin temporarily worked as assistant to the superintendent at New York's Metropolitan Hospital for six months until she was sworn into the Navy. The Navy's commissioning document was intended to be used for a man and the form referred to Ozerin using male pronouns. Ozerin's title was Assistant Surgeon, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Ozerin was one of the first seven women psychiatrists with commissioned officer status in the United States Navy. Without undergoing any military training at all, Ozerin was immediately assigned to Bethesda, Maryland, in October 1943. Reporting to Captain Forrest Martin Harrison, Ozerin spent four months working in a military hospital until she received orders to report to Camp Lejeune. At the time, there were 33,000 men and 3,000 women stationed at Camp Lejeune. It had two women physicians who were both assigned to the dependence clinic located outside the base. The commander of the hospital gave Ozerin the impression that he respected neither women nor the field of psychiatry. Ozerin was told to do physical examinations on applicants for employment at the hospital, which Ozerin found to be waste of her skills, particularly when doctors with just 90 days of psychiatric training were treating psychiatry patients. After a few weeks, a colleague in Bethesda helped Ozerin secure a transfer to the Waves training station at Hunter College in New York City. Ozerin was one of three women physicians at Hunter College. Ozerin conducted psychiatric examinations of the women entering Waves and Spars in February 1945. Ozerin was given orders to return to Bethesda to treat Waves who were suffering from anxiety and other issues. When she was not seeing patients, Ozerin studied at Street Elizabeth's Hospital in Washington, D.C. She passed the American Board of Psychiatry and Neurology and Psychiatry later that year. Following the end of World War II, the Navy began discharging its physicians in 1946. Ozerin returned to New York State to live with her parents while remaining in the Naval Reserves, looking for work.
She networked with a fellow Navy orientee Mike Spotswood who recommended she apply to work at the Veterans Administration. It took brief interviews with Dr. Harvey Tompkins and Dr. Daniel Blaine to secure a position as Assistant Chief of Hospital Psychiatry. Within a year, Ozerin was promoted to Chief of Hospital Psychiatry. Ozerin decided to give up her military commission and the Navy Reserves in 1957. She joined the United States Public Health Service the same year. After working in its office in Kansas City for three years, she decided to attend the Harvard University School of Public Health. Ozerin earned a master's in public health in 1961. Ozerin considered physical activity, a good diet, and a modicum of religion and faith to be her key to a long life.